Yo guys, what is going on? I have to mute the Spurs game. If there's so much sports going on right now, I, I haven't really had a time to get on and stream because I've been so invested in just kind of watching, you know, all the action that we've had this weekend. It's been actually awesome to see. Um, guys, today we have a video. We're going to be looking at the mini release, the new content, kind of talking about a few things, and then we're going to have my Foot Champs rewards. I finished my games this morning in between the F1 uh, and some of the Prem games that were on. I was just kind of passively sitting here playing, watching matches, what I was doing this morning, just chilling. Um... And yeah, so we're going to take a look at that. Then we're going to open our Foot Chips Awards. We got rank one, which is great. Um, and I played really well. We'll have those highlights on the second channel. We, we tried a lot of new players today. It was a lot of fun. Um, so let's check out SBCs. Today's also a mini release. Usually today's an icon day as well. Um, so let's see, you know, what we have today. So we have a Dream Team, which is a two players pack. Huh. Uh, mid or Prime Icon pick. I think that's always been there. Uh, and then we have a, we have a Prime Icon player pick. No, is that from Swaps? Okay, we've got a year end. Oh, one of three. B-Day year in review pick. I'm very confused. Okay, so what is this? 85 team of the week and one, one team of the week and 70 chem. One of three SBCs that were exclusively, uh, through SBCs in team of the, okay, so why does it say B-Day? I think it's the same. Uh, I think this is definitely the same, guys, as the, the stuff that we always get. Um, I'm pretty sure that this is, like, no different. Uh, which is, like, the one with the SBCs uh, that are kind of... I don't like this anymore. I mean, I think this is a little bit outdated. I think the best you can get out of this is, like, Vinny Jr., Salah. So, again, if you don't have a lot of SBC cards, um, I think it's probably worthwhile to do. I won't be doing that on the video today because it's just not super relevant. Uh, we did get a mini release, and we've got a Lucas Mora which is actually quite interesting, guys. So let's go take a look at Lucas Mora. Um, let's see what he's all about. I think that, uh, you know, his his uh, Winter Wild Cards was a very good card. Not super used, but it was a very good card. So he's not even on the market. Uh, we've got Balde, I think Balde Diao, who used to be uh, just a beast in FIFA. He's probably on the market. He's 230k. So he plays in the city. Ah, four-star, four-star, actually. Wow, and that's a good-looking card, man. Finesha and Flare Trait. Wow. 89 ball control, 91 strength. Woo, that's a good card. And he's going to be really cheap, too. He's going to be cheap. And let me tell you something. That is a nice card with potential upgrades as well. we got to take a look at that team and uh, also kind of see if he's in the rotation or not. We'll do that in a second. But that's a great-looking card. And then we've got another German uh, another German CDM here. And uh, it's Dominic Kaur, who is going to be really cheap with the price range. And he's medium-high. And he's got some really good stats. That's a really nice DM. I love that he has 97 aggression. So he'll be, you know, obviously a very, very affordable card. Um, and then Lucas Mora, uh, and, you know, again, guys, these cards are all looking probably at least plus ones, a lot of them plus twos, and some even plus threes, depending on, you know, if they contribute to their teams. No, Lucas Mora is still not on the market, uh, which tells me, uh, that there is a real chance that he is going to be very good in game, and maybe also that his price range is a little bit lower than what it should be, because that's just usually somehow what EA do. Um, so how much better is he than his wild cards? Yeah, he's quite better. Two, two more pace, three more shooting, three more passing. And let me tell you something, Lucas Mora with three more dribbling and three more physical, that's a massive upgrade. And his uh, left stick is going to be insane. What on earth is this card? Not to mention, I think that having a stat like 93 aggression is super um, important, right? Because I think when you have that aggression, you're so much more likely to kind of win the ball back in a jammy format. And I think that that's, that's a big deal right there. So that, for me, uh, is a really good card. If this card, I mean, this card for me is already crazy because he's got the ability to pass. Uh, he's got the flare trait, good dribbling trait, maxed out on pace, agility and balance. He's going to feel so responsive at 5'9 and high medium. Potential upgrades as well. You know, with Spurs, I'm not sure about the contribution. Maybe he's going to get that. Maybe he's not. I think Lucas gets, you know, he, he gets time. And, and, you know, I think Spurs will win one out of five. And I think... I think he's got a chance for at least that that plus two plus three. So that will be a you know it's kind of crazy. He is kind of releasing like team of the season level cards uh, in March. I mean they really are guys. Like this type of card is just this is what you'd expect from a team of the season. I I kind of looked at Rashford last night and I was like you know what like this card is like a team of the season level card. I mean it's crazy. Like when we look at team of the season Rashford uh, over the years, like if you go and look at look up a Marcus Rashford card and you were to just kind of compare the card over generations and you looked at what a team of the season Rashford looks like. I mean, Rashford last year, like it's so crazy because even this Rashford is going to get, 
you know, an upgrade or two. And this Rashford has the same passing, uh, like three less dribbling, two less physical. I mean, it's so similar to his team of the season last year. Um, so it, it, it's just quite crazy to see, you know, how crazy these cards are. I'm not really sure if I like it. I'm also not sure if I'm against it because, you know, I'd probably be sitting here saying the other thing if the cards weren't good. And I'd be like, yay, why is this content so dead? So, I mean, you know, that that's winning itself. We'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the teams in a little bit. Um, I just wanted to tell you guys, by the way, um, I did play my foot champs matches today and that this card is game changing. So if you're a person that's watching this video and you have not completed this card yet, he is insane. And even if you can't get him in the starting 11 as a super sub, as a DM, I, he's incredible. I just played him in my 442 as a CDM and boy, did he shock me. Um, he is crazy. And it's something about these wide mids uh, and these fullbacks that they are just incredible, like Cancelo, they're incredible. So we're going to go through our foot champs rewards with you guys real quick. It's not going to be on the title of the video. Uh, we're going to look at a couple more of this stuff with this promo, and then we'll be out of here and we'll be, we'll be on our day, guys. And, and hopefully you guys are doing well. Um, you know, I, I'm praying for all you guys. Hopefully you guys are, are just, you know, doing well. That That's what I hope for when you guys, you know, watch a video and uh, you watch a stream or whatever it is. Um, I'm praying for a Red Ronaldo because I tried him yesterday and I loved him. But at the worst, we will take 86s and 85s, which is what we are getting. Uh, so we'll take that. That's not bad. It's good for SBCs for me. And uh, we'll take it. No Ronaldo. Oh, man, no Ronaldo. Uh, okay, guys. Not the end of the world. Uh, do I want to take Ozyman? No, I'm going to take Forsberg, guys, just because I do have uh, a couple of packs to open now. So we'll go ahead and rip the packs real quick. We have a lot. So hopefully, hopefully we can get a Flip Fantasy card. Um, and then tomorrow, guys, we should also have uh, upgrades. I wanted to say as well, a lot of people think that the Classic Cup, they don't really like it. I, I've been really enjoying it. Um, I did a couple of my matches when I woke up today. Um, it can be, I, I understand the argument for the toxicity, but I like that they sped up the halves. I like it. It gives me a little bit more of that tournament feel from back in the day when you'd play those online tournaments and run through those. I, I kind of get a little bit of that feeling from it. Um, so I've been liking it. I've been enjoying it, and I, and I think it's I think it's unique. Well, that's cool. Okay. I thought that pack was going to be horrible, but we ended up getting the man of the match. We can discard that. Never going to complain about that. We'll always take that. It's a nice little 15K uh, in the bank. I also want to keep talking about the market, guys. I've been a little bit more into the market recently, so I've been watching it a bit more, and I, and I feel like I've got some more knowledge about it recently that I can kind of like speak about it a little bit more in my videos. I mean, I think uh, right now it's it's been super fun with all the moments and stuff. Ruben Diaz will take that. It's a nice little walkout. And, uh, yeah, I mean, guys, it looks like now we're going to really be left with uh, kind of – I guess hoping and praying that we're going to make something out of the Team of the Week packs. Now, I should probably save the Team of the Week packs uh, if I wasn't an idiot. But uh, I just kind of open these because, you know what, guys? I, I Every time I save them, it's never worth it. Like, it's never worth it. So I guess we're going to hope that we can get a couple of these 86, 87 guys. Uh, that would be awesome. That's not a big walkout, so that's going to be bad. It's going to be Gravenberch. Uh, his 10K. So, God, is that bad. I can't even stock these in the club, guys. Um, that's how bad this this pack was. I literally can't even put these guys in the club uh, because they're actually so discard. So that is uh, that is quite sad. So we literally have to discard those two. And we got the extra team of the league pack because we did get rank one today. So that's kind of sad that we, we really didn't get anything there. But uh, can we see a bigger walkout? We did this time. Uh, There's going to be Ozyman. So it's only 85, man. We can't even get like a Chesney. Oh, can't even get a Chesney. And uh, one of these days, guys, you know, I'm, I'm really sitting here hoping that one of these days I'm going to hit a... Uh, I'm going to hit an icon moments, guys. That's my uh, that's my plan. One of these days, I'm just going to hit an icon moments out of one of these packs, and people can go crazy. But I don't think it's going to be today. It's not looking like it today. Well, obviously, we're already out of packs now, um, so it can't be today. Can it be a, it's not even a big walkout. Oh, my God. It's Connor Cody. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's probably some of the worst weekly rewards you'll watch. And this is why, I, you know, I kind of said on my stream this week, don't play weekly this weekend. I mean, it's just it's not the rewards aren't good enough. The reds aren't good enough. And Sun has just scored another goal. I love this guy so much. He's so good in real life. Um, we move. So let's talk about it real quick. Let's go look at um, the... Uh, I want to look at the team of Balde Diao. And I want to see kind of what's going on there, you know, for the upgrade purpose. So they've lost their last three. They've won one and tied one. And they're in 17th place. And they have a horrible goal differential. So asking a win out of them is going to be tough. Um, what you can look at, though is in the re recent matches, right? We can go ahead and look uh, at Keita Balde. And let's see, has he been playing? So he's been playing a little bit, not a ton. Oh, this is going to be sweaty. Well, you know what? He looks like he's getting time. At least time, right? And one of the ones, guys, is that you have to uh, you have to just 
appear, right? So if he can appear in three out of five, I think we're going to get one upgrade. I think it's going to be hard for them to get a win based on their form. But I think it's possible, and I think the goal contribution is going to be hard. And Serie A only has three goals and an assist. But it's possible. It's definitely still possible. So that's looking a, a, a little bit more challenging. Let's take a look at Lucas Mora, who already has a crazy card. And he gets time. So he's getting subbed in, and he does contribute. At probably every five games he contributes. He gets hot sometimes every five or six games. So that's a possibility for a plus three. I think he's going to get the plus two for sure. I think Spurs will win a game. I think he'll, he'll appear in three out of five matches, just whether or not he comes in and gets that goal or assist. That's another story. And then uh, and then we've also got our other mini release player, which is going to be uh, Core, Dominic Core, right? And he's on loan and he plays a lot and he, he is a CDM, I think, which still means he has to get a contribution. I don't think that's a shutout or a clean sheet. So I think a plus two is looking okay for him. I think a plus two is going to be probably okay. Uh, I know mines wins games, right? They don't win all the time, but they do win. So I think a plus two is more likely for him. Um, but that I think I think this promo has a little bit of relevancy for all for all these reasons. Like I think that these cards that come out, um, you know, are, are really cool for that matter. Like I really like it. Um, now what I think EA should kind of revert back to, guys, is party bags. I think they got to go back to these party bags, guys, because this SPC that's getting released is not acceptable anymore, right? Maybe it's one thing if it, it, you know if EA want to come out and and decide that. They're going to do a, an SBC player pick from, from now to Team of the Year. But, you know, the fact that this is coming out, and as an 85-rated squad and a Team of the Week, it's more expensive than things on the market. All right? Like, when it first came out, I liked the I, the originality of it. I was like, okay, this is pretty cool. An SBC player pick. Like, whoa, that's crazy. Right? Now it's just dead because they keep releasing the same thing. Um, so, for me, not super ideal. Um, is it? Right? It's not. It's not. It's not great. Um what I do want to see real quick, and, and also an objective before we kind of hop on the market and do take a look at a couple of things. Yes, okay, so they added this back again. Okay, so I was saying yesterday, I, I didn't understand why they didn't add this back. This was on Friday, and this was a nice way to get the 25k pack. You got to win two out of three, which is hard, but it's a nice way to get another pack in there. And then, you know, today I'm going to go for, for three more wins. And this takes literally, like, for me, it takes like 15, 20 minutes. So that's awesome. I don't see any other objectives and milestones, but I do like that. Uh, okay, so that, yes, that is it. For that and then obviously we still have all the icon stuffs going on uh do those actually expire in 24 hours oh i am in trouble okay so those actually expire in 24 hours oh my god i gotta get started well actually I i'm only gonna take 14 so i need to make sure that i have right now i think i have four and there's probably what there's nine available yeah there's nine available so i probably need to do the, the two squad battles one at some point uh either tomorrow morning and start it tonight because I have to get started on that, because I think Icosoft refreshes tomorrow, which means that if any of you guys were actually going for some of the later tier options, uh, that those will start to become, I guess, available for, for you guys tomorrow uh, for the swaps, which is great. I'm going for Cannavaro, which is 14 tokens, guys. That That's my pick uh, of what I'm going to go for. Um, but yeah, you know, Prime Icon player pick, Prime, Prime Moments pack. I mean, these will start to become accessible this week, which is nice. Um, okay, other than that, we have been doing really good, guys. This morning, I woke up, and I spent some time on the icon market, about like 30 minutes, and I got a couple of really good deals. I picked up a Zidane at 5 mil. I bought a Mateus at 3 mil, and I had plans on trying them both, and then I was able to actually sell them on. Mateus for 200K and Zidane for 150K, 120K, so that was great. Um, for birthdays and, and, and some of these live cards, they just keep going up, and I think when you look at the content today, I don't think there's going to be anything from stopping the market to continue to go up, and I think tomorrow, guys... Uh, which would be a Monday, I think we're going to see a very high market, okay? I'm predicting a very high market at least until 1 p.m. Because obviously, guys, at 1 p.m., EA can drop any type of content that can lower the market, right? And that's always possible. Always, 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 guys, that is possible. But I think we're going to see a very high market tomorrow. I think, you know, you're going to see a lot of people buying into players, deciding that, you know, it's time for them to, you know, buy new teams and things like that. And so for all you guys watching the video, today I, I think if you wanted to try to risk a little bit of an investment or put some coins into some things i would really suggest anything that's out of packs that you think is popular maybe cars that have had recent upgrades that people still really want to try out and something i also start to, to really like is i think a lot of these foot fantasies are going to really start to you know I, I this this trend that we've been noticing where the the team the players that are in packs start going up on mondays um is a very real trend i think it's going to continue to happen um, it's a very real thing. We keep seeing this happen. Are they running lightning rounds? Of course they are. Um, but this is a very real thing. So I think that a lot of these cards will probably, you know, probably go downwards today. I think there'll be some selling for sure. 
you know, obviously we've got some lighting rounds and, and I think, I think all of that is definitely going on, right? But I think there's going to be a point where these cards probably hit a low today slash tonight and then they really start to go up because I think people really want to try these cards this week. And I just think we're going to have limited supply. We usually see these cards going up on rewards because people want to try out the new cards. And so I really like that. If you're if you're a person that's, that's watching this video and you, you're trying to make some coins, I like that a lot. I'm not a huge fan of Team of the Week. I am a fan of Foot Birthday, though. Any, you know, any Foot Birthday that's kind of come back down a bit, I, I like that as well. I think that the Foot Birthdays will continue to do really well. I don't see a reason why Foot Birthdays wouldn't keep going up, right? Out of packs, um, super in demand, popular cards, guys. And that's what you look for in, in, in types of cards to go up. So, you know, if there is any type of selling today because, you know, people are going to go do this year-end pick or whatever it might be, it might be a really good opportunity uh, to just take advantage of it, guys, is the way that, you know, I, I really see it. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I mean, other than that, guys, that's about it. I'm, I'm looking at this De Bruyne because I saw him this morning at, uh, is he on the market? I saw his 93 this morning at, like, 158. So, I don't know how he's 146 because he seemed really high this morning, but I don't see him on the market. And also, I never really know if I'm, if it's glitching me out because of the old inform. It's always really hard to tell. Uh, is that on the market? That was, what, 152? Okay. So, yeah. I'm probably going to take a look at the market a little bit later tonight and try to pick up some cards. Right now, uh, chill, chilling. Absolutely chilling right now, guys. That's that's what I'm doing at the moment. Um, and uh, we got El Clasico today. So, you know, make sure you guys watch that. A little bit slower, I think, of a weekend of FIFA content. But El Clasico is very important, guys. So, you need to make sure uh if you're watching this video that you guys go watch el classico i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it a requirement if you're watching this video right now you need to go watch el classico today guys it's been a pleasure thank you guys for watching another video of mine i'm very blessed for you guys support and i'll see you guys in a video soon peace have a good one guys love you